Oh, hi there. You caught me relaxing. It's not always like this. Uh, most of the time, I'm just huddled in a corner going, Oh, God, it's so cold. Anyway, so this week, we are in Blackburn. And we're starting off a journey that's going to take us all the way to Skipton in Yorkshire, which is over 35 miles away uh, by canal. Before I arrived in Blackburn, I was worried that it was going to be full of people that were going to give me trouble and um, I'd have things stolen or I'd just generally have abuse and uh, eggs or something thrown at me. But Blackburn was brilliant. The people there were so friendly. They were generous and just I had a, just generally good vibes about the place. You know when you arrive somewhere and you just think, you just get a sense of it, don't you? It's just sort of, so there's something in the air. Um, well, Blackburn's got it. <laughs> and there's one place that I think all this goodwill emanated from and circled around, and that was Calypso. Pub of the Week! Calypso is a Caribbean restaurant bar run by this amazing guy called David Wilson and he has won loads of awards for his own cooking and um, the chefs there are absolutely brilliant. I've never tasted anything like it. The, the best thing is you can just go there and have any kind of night you like. If you just want to chill out and eat the food that's fine. If you want to watch some crazy music, musical antics and um, see a parrot uh, sitting on someone's shoulder <laughs> then that is the place for you. The music's great, you've got like reggae I guess going on all the time, but I think if you want to bring in an instrument and you're good, then you're, you're going to be well looked after there. I went there with my friend John. This is his boat here. And John was playing some excellent tunes, as he always does, and uh, the parrot was actually dancing for him, which was hilarious. Anyway, more from the clip, so at the end of the video, so stay tuned. today so it's making it difficult to make any films it's a shame because I love all these old dilapidated warehouse buildings it's pretty cool right so in this episode we're going to try and make it from Blackburn to do you like my uh, all-weather gear by the way um, we're going to try and make it to, to, from Blackburn in Lancashire to Skipton in Yorkshire I have to get to another meeting which is about six or seven hours away by train so Skipton's a better route for that. I wish we had smell of vision because going right past the factory that makes sweets. <laughs> Smells amazing.
We're now in Church, which is the halfway point of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. We're exactly 63 and three quarter of the miles away from Leeds and Liverpool. Amazing. just been past this swing bridge um, which has quite a scary sign and this is definitely the less glamorous side of canal boating and that's uh, once again having to reach down into the propeller and this time I was really careful I managed not to snag myself but I've got a proper fisherman set up here fishing line anyway it's time to press on Yeah, basically, if every swing bridge could be like this, that would be that would be good. That would be acceptable. So if you're watching at home, you see a swing bridge, just open it up, uh, just leave it like that. That would be that would be great. Thanks. these swing bridges you need to remember your windlass as well because there's this funny mechanism here just like on the locks that you've got to use to lift up this uh, post that's uh, keeping it in place. We're going to be coming through Burnley soon, um, there's about six locks there I think and I'm not looking forward to it because everyone's telling me, obviously they're telling me about Blackburn being a bit of a shithole but they said no, seriously though, Burnley is the one to watch so. But right now we're getting some of the most fantastic scenery that I've seen so far on my trip, brilliant. I mean, this is an example of the perfect swing bridge. So, Canal River Trust, if you're, if you're watching, uh, if you just make all the swing bridges like that, that would be perfect. Great job. I just had a chat with uh, the bloke just there and he says um, in all the years that he's been boating he's never had a problem until he moored up in, in Burnley so I've got to try and get through it if I can. He says stay on your boat you'll be fine but you know he says just don't leave your boat that's all. The 
Italy has got a hell of a lot of um, old warehouses and old, just old buildings in general, in general. But they're making a real effort to uh, regenerate the area, so some of it looks really, really nice, actually. I mean, it's interesting, the whole town was, uh, m much of it was just built around the canal, so there was a real buzz, I think, about this place back in the day. quite scary when someone uh, moors up in the dark next to you. Who is this maverick? That person is me. Right, so I spent the night in Nelson and um, as soon as I got here I noticed that there was a, a Morrison's right here so I thought right I'll get in there and uh, it's all locked, really nice lockable mooring. It's got this uh, the handcuff key lock. And um, straight away, as soon as I did that, so I turned around and I just dropped it straight in the water. Uh, I had a spare, so I was using that one for a, for a while. And I thought, well, this morning, I'll try my luck with my, with my C magnet. And I'm not very good. I've got a friend called Imogen who's really, really good with this, but uh, I'm pretty sh**. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just thought I'd uh, try my luck. So I tried again and again and again. I just couldn't find it. But then I saw it, so I, what I did was I popped it in one last time, just before going, just to see if I could get anything. And what did I pick up? Yay! Got it. Brilliant. So <sighs> I got that back. Looking back at last night, it was pretty stupid just to be sort of boating around when I could hardly see anything. But I needed to make some headway and uh, I'm not very good at getting up in the mornings. <laughs> This is actually blue and green algae. Remember, we saw it before. Being, we were warned about it before in um, on the Rufford branch. So yeah, definitely not drinking that. Every Sunday morning, I have a little think to myself, and I think, we're 200 miles away from home, boating around. Um, what am I doing? I'm just basically, yeah, living quite a, a strange life. Hey, why not, eh?
really tricky to get past. <laughs> that, that is going to blow me over to the right side, that water coming down. So I've got to aim slightly left, hopefully that will be the trick. Here we go. No, that's it. Go with the flow, man. Just gotta go with the flow. Right, once again, I got the amazing help of a CRT. Um, he's actually a um, staff member it's called Andy. So, cheers, Andy. be a little bit naughty here and I'm just gonna try and barge open these, uh, literally barge open these gates without crashing into them. Uh. Yeah, nice. Oh, <laughs> come on! They are quite heavy. I mean, each one of these is about one and a half tons. There we go. There we go. Cheers, Andy. Thanks. We're now on the summit now, so this is the highest point of the Leeds Liverpool Canal, about 400 feet above sea level, I think. Just stopped short of the Full Ridge Tunnel, which is here. It's about a mile and it's quite an adventure. Wouldn't be able to film much of it because it's a dark tunnel, but there we are. There's the lights, the red. It's like an angry face. I didn't want to be a tunnel anyway, I wanted to be a bridge. In preparation, I know it's going to be pretty cold and damp, so I've got my uh, jacket on. I've also got all the lights on inside, all my LEDs and um, that should light up the tunnel a bit. I don't know if I'll be able to film any of it though, because, yeah, it's a tunnel. And the is dark. Right, so it's 12.30, so I'm just gonna start the engine. Because it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's basically 12.30 to one, that's the time they allow you to go in. Um, and all these people are waiting for me to go in as well. <laughs> and give them a show. There we go, the lights are on green, so it's ready to go.
I've got a real friendly parrot here. You're a right cockatiel, you are. He likes all of it, bro. He loves that in there. Oi, what are you doing? Oi, what are you doing? Oi, oi. He's down in the pack, yes. Can't believe this. Barge life. Say that again. Say that one more time. You're in trouble, mister. Do you know why? Do you know why you're on the naughty chair? Come on then, let's go. So yeah, and that's why this is the pub of the week. Oh, no! <laughs> kiss. He's giving you a 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 kiss. Okay, so, number one, we're gonna put down, this is no, and in no particular order, we're gonna put down Matt Allen, who I believe has been with us from the start, and he's um, generously given money, so. Uh, Laurie Walter, now she has been really supportive, and um, is from Florida. I, th I believe that's right, isn't it, Laurie? And um, same place as John Rice, and John has been supportive right from the start too, so thank you, John. And then we've got Roy Johnson. Roy is from Southern California. Um, another place I would absolutely love to go. And then we've got Sue Hardy, which is actually my mum. <laughs> Thanks, mum. <laughs> Last but not least, we've got my boss, Kimberly Hornby, who not only lets me live this crazy life and still earn money, but she's actually given me a, a little bit to go towards our, our equipment. So that's brilliant, so thank you, Kim. Thanks to Anonymous Donation, and you know who you are, um, we've got a GoPro. Woo! We've gone pro, guys. This is it. Uh, a gone pro. I, don't, I have no idea how to use it yet, um, and I need still need loads of accessories for it, like a charger. Um, but yeah, pretty soon we'll be able to, I don't know, film underwater, under the boat. Uh, a whole host of ideas. I could, can I put it in my mouth? I could, I could film my mouth. Oh, um, can I film the toilet? I'll probably drop it in the toilet and flush it and see what happens then. I could do a pump out. I could pump out the end. <laughs>